See you later. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> oh, I pulled out of buying my flat because people who own freeholds and offer leaseholds are bastards. Basically, I got offered this leasehold and I kept thinking, this deal is getting worse all the time. Mind you, if you own the freehold to a piece of land, and you're not a bastard. Feel free to prove my generalization completely wrong. I'm um, gonna have a poo. Even though I'm not buying a flat right now, I probably will be buying some kind of property in the next It doesn't matter. I bought some toys with my money because it's been several months and very, very, very sparse in terms of the toys. So the Gundam kits aren't here yet, but the Transformers, they arrived this week. Hey! I said in my last video I wasn't going to get any Dinobots. You should know not to trust me by now. Here's Slug, surprisingly sturdy Slug, not shit and hollow Slug. No, they're not light. We'll, we'll make room for them. <coughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we should probably do some modes this video, because we didn't do any modes last video. I just went, here's the road, by this way, looks like. To the shop to get some. Bre hey, I sang that before. Hey, a delightful little triceratops with a gun up his nose. Just reminds me of that guy with a moustache from Baywatch who was only credited by the third series. Yeah. I really like him. I'm gonna buy the others because I'm not buying a flat. Got your back, eh? He works in the planet the toys, and I said, hey man. Have you got any beetle traps? And he did. And wow, they fit together so nice. They come apart so nice. Let's put them in their modes. Nice. And then, because there was two of them, you could recreate that amazing scene from Tenchu. It looks like you chose the wrong party to crash. <laughs> it took me so long to transform blue part. Uh, I nearly forgot the joke I was about to make. And thus will be known as the time when everyone forgot the Silkworm references. <laughs> well, not everyone played Atari ST. I have nothing bad to say about the Decepticon clones whatsoever. These guys are just truly tasty wonderful. And I'm sorry if you purchase these by going for the multi-packs because that's a lot of money. And now, who could tell them apart if you looked at them from the front and didn't take into account their animal badges and assumed they just went to Bristol Zoo and picked one each from the basket. This smells of eagle. And lastly, bearing a slight resemblance to Ben Quadronaros of the Phantom Menace fame, Rodimer. Ooh, this thing is more fun than choosing a tattoo for Gary Busey at a cheese festival. But, but, this gimmick, this gimmick, this gimmick is shit. I don't give a fuck about the Matrix. <laughs> Matrix is bollocks. Let's do it in dinosaur mode because it'll be funnier. Water was way better looking than this anyway. Take it off, get rid of it. The gimmick's bollocks, but the figures are great. What do you know? Well, like the Matrix thing vanished. Normally I wouldn't worry, but I'm probably gonna step on it when I get up for a wee in the middle of the night. I'm just gonna finish filming this tomorrow when I can think of a joke to go at the end. Oh, okay. Wicked. Let's just uh, let's just go home then. <laughs>